the hydraulic system on the heliporter should be inspected uh, periodically for leaks, damage, fluid level, and proper operation. In order to do this, one should just visually check all the different fittings to ensure there are no leaks. Check the lines to make sure they're not damaged in any way. It's possible that the unit uh, passes over the top of something and these lines are fairly close to the ground. They could get damaged. Inspect those closely. Inspect the valve. Make sure there are no leaks around the valve. We now check the fluid level. <coughs> and the fluid level should be only two-thirds up on the tank. Uh, any fuller than that, and uh, it could blow some of the fluid out through the breather cap. So, in order to do this, we can take the cap off and look down inside, and uh, with the flashlight, you'll be able to see the fluid, and like I say, no higher than two-thirds level. If at some point the unit is blowing fluid out through the breather cap, one might take a syringe or something and take a little bit of the fluid out of it, see if that doesn't uh, take care of the issue. When inspecting it, of course, you want to run it and make sure that it's functioning properly. Uh, and by the way, on the fluid, we use uh, standard uh, 10W30 motor oil. In our case, we uh, are using PENS oil at this time. Uh, nothing special about it. It can be purchased at uh, any automotive store. The hydraulic system uh, raises and lowers the uh, platform and which picks the helicopter up and sets it down. It also drives the unit forward and back. First off, we're going to raise the platform and ensure that it uh, comes to the stops and then bypasses. You can hear the bypass by the motor pulling down and uh, everything seems fine there. We're going to come back down and do the same thing and that's done by this lever on the top of the handle. Okay, it's down. Now we're going to check the drive motor. We'll rotate the twist grip. We can hear the motor run, see the wheels turn at the back. Seems to be working fine that way. We're going to rotate it the other direction. This would be backing the heliporter away from us and if it were on the ground. And we're going to rotate the, the grip to the neutral position and it should stay there if adjusted properly. Then we're going to press the electric switch and the motor's running, the hydraulic fluid is bypassing through the valve and the wheels should not be turning. If the wheels are turning, uh, you should readjust the cabling on the unit, uh, which we have a section that uh, describes how to do that.